Hey, what's going on everybody? Uh, Todd here again. Um, I'm going to show you another very basic, very basic uh, tutorial for After Effects, which a lot of you out there probably already know how to do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. It's uh, cloning. As you can see here, I have a uh, some footage here of my guys, and I cloned them, and it's looking good. Let me show you preview. All right. Okay. First thing we want to do is uh, grab your camera and start filming. Uh, here's the original footage where I filmed myself in three different places. I started here for like 10 seconds, walked over to this spot here for 10 seconds, and then back here for 10 seconds. What you want to try to do is uh, do it with the uh, sun out and no clouds so the lighting don't change. If the lighting changes you're going to see it in the final project but uh, try to do it on a clear day or indoors with even lighting. That's the best thing to do. So I film myself here a little bit. Act like I'm talking to this guy here which isn't there. Then I'll move on over to that spot next. Talk to that guy down there. And then I move on to the last spot and just throw the ball around a little bit. This guy's on his own. So uh, that's what you need to film. Like I said, try to keep the lighting uh, pretty even throughout the 30 seconds that you record or however many people you want to do. You can throw more over here, up here, as long as they ain't interfering with each other. They need to be a decent amount of space in between each other so they don't interfere. Oops. Um, so that's what we want to do so let's get started uh, let's create a new composition I'm using 1080 footage again so I'm doing full 80, 1080 I'll turn the transparency off here and let's uh, drop the footage on into the composition here we go okay what we want to do since we have three different people three different clones I guess you could say in this video uh, we want to duplicate this footage uh, three times, well two times, two more times, there's one and two, edit duplicate or I think it's control D to duplicate on the keyboard uh, okay so let's uh, get down here to this bottom, let's, actually let's turn the eyes off of all of them except the bottom one and let's uh, select that bottom one, double click it and this is going to be the file we're going to use mainly for the entire background we're just going to cut out all the other guys and pretty much paste them on this entire this entire footage here so let's go ahead and oops let's get him in his spot starting right about there. So let's click in on that. And here he goes. Blah, 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 blah. And let's end him right about there. Okay. The first one's done. We got that one in and out. Let's turn that one off. Let's go to the second one. Double click this footage. Okay, we want to go to the second guy. Which he starts right about here. So, uh, and end for the start point where he starts. And where is he stopping at? Past it. Oops. Right about there. And out on that point. Okay. And the third file. Let's turn that one off and turn the third one on double click it, go to the third guy he's just hanging out up by the tree thinking he's cool and we all know he isn't okay let's see about there, that looks good, we'll go out there okay now we have all three of our files edited and cut to where we want them to be 
So let's uh, let's start by uh, showing this bottom file. This is my guy here. We don't need to do nothing with this file here. The bottom one on the list. Make sure that one's at the bottom. You can choose. I usually use the one on the end, one of the ends of the the video that would work best as your your main file. So I'm gonna leave that alone. So let's turn that one off and go to the second one. Okay, what we're going to do is take our pen tool and we're going to cut right around this guy. I like to do the whole the whole file, not just around him like this, which some people you can do that. I mean, if you can get away with it. But I like to do it this way. Just uh stay out of this guy's path here cuz you know he's going to be there. Let's just cut on up. And we can come on down here because we know this guy's over in this area, so we're not going to interfere with him. And there we go on him. Okay, let's go ahead and turn that one off. And turn this one on. The third guy. Okay, get your pen tool again. Let's mask around him. Remember, kind of remember where you were at with your other one. It was right around here. So this one we can actually come more this way with it. Just gotta watch the shadows. If you if you forget where you're at, you can turn on the set the second one and you can see it right there. So we're gonna have to come on one up a little closer on that one. Alrighty. Alright. I'm gonna have to redo this uh this mask. Okay, let's go ahead and start a new one. on up. We can tweak this later if we get in the way of the other guy, but uh, and there's that one. Alright, and this is it, ladies and gentlemen. Boom. Turn all layers on. You got your bottom layer, which is the whole scenery, basically. Your next guy pops in for the place you cut him in, and your next guy pops in as well. Now, Just gotta make sure there's no interference, which there might be a little bit in here, which ain't gonna be a big deal because they're not really touching and it's the same background. So, and we're gonna feather it out a bit. So, it actually looks pretty good. It looks pretty even the lighting on this one. Uh, so, but I'm still gonna feather it. Uh, let's go ahead and take this guy, select the uh, second file, the second guy, go to ma the mask properties, and. Uh, Twirl down and let's feather it up to about 60. Okay. Let's do the same thing for the this guy here on the end, which is my top file here. It would help to rename your files, which I didn't do. I never do. I'm kind of lazy. Uh, if you if you select a file and hit I think enter, yeah, then you can you can rename your file. It's guy one, guy two, whatever you know, whatever works for you. Uh, select the mask and let's feather this one to 60 as well. And it's looking pretty damn sweet. The only thing that may mess up in the background, which most people won't notice this, is the leaves blowing. Which there might be a slight variation between your cuts for the leaves, but probably not. Most people ain't going to notice that. So let's, uh,. Uh, you can check on up here and make sure everything else looks good. And I believe it does. Even the uh, interactions here kind of kind of work between these two guys. Uh, that's about it. 